Let's review. Time for some registry review practice questions on ultrasound echoes. Question one. An ultrasound echo is A, the pattern of a reflected wave, B, a reflected sound wave, C, the pulse sent into the body, or D, brightness of a reflected wave. And the answer is B, a reflected sound wave. In ultrasound, a transducer sends a sound wave out into the tissue, and that sound wave bounces off a structure or tissues in the body, and a reflection is sent back to the transducer. This reflection is known as an echo, and it gives us characteristics about the type of tissue or structure that it bounced off of. Question two. On ultrasound, an area that appears medium gray, indicating that it reflects the same amount of echoes as the fat in the breast, is known as A, hypoechoic, B, isoechoic, C, anechoic, or D, hyperechoic. And the answer is B, isoechoic. An isoechoic area on ultrasound is a mass or a structure or a layer that has the same number of echoes as the fat in the breast. And it indicates that that mass or type of tissue is reflecting the same amount of echoes back to the transducer as the fat in the breast is. And we call this isoechoic. Question three, what is the echogenicity of the mass on the breast ultrasound image below. A. Isoechoic. B. Hyperechoic. C. Hypoechoic. Or D. Anechoic. And the answer is B. Hyperechoic. In the ultrasound image, we are looking at the light gray or whitish round area within the fat in the breast. Things that are light gray or white on ultrasound are known as hyperechoic, and they indicate that they are a strong reflector, sending many echoes or reflections back to the transducer. Question four. Fluid-filled structures, such as cysts, blood vessels, and milk ducts, display which echogenicity on an ultrasound image? A. Hypoechoic. B. Anechoic. C, isoechoic, or D, hyperechoic. And the answer is B, anechoic. Anechoic structures on an ultrasound are black inside, which indicates an absence of echoes. An anechoic area indicates that no reflections are returning to the transducer from that area. Question five. The blank of an area on a breast ultrasound is determined by comparing the amount of echoes within an area to the medium gray color of the fat in the breast. A, a, absence of echoes, B, hypergenicity, C, echo texture, or D, echogenicity. And the answer is D, echogenicity. Echogenicity on an ultrasound is the brightness of the echoes within an area. The amount of echoes within the area are compared to the medium gray color of the fat in the breast to determine their echogenicity. Question six, what is the echogenicity of the mass on the breast ultrasound image below? A, homogenous, B, anechoic, C, complex, or D, hypoechoic? And the answer is C, complex. On ultrasound, complex has two meanings. It means that a mass has both solid and cystic components, and it also means that a mass displays several different types of brightness levels or echogenicities, such as a mass may have hypoechoic portions, anechoic portions, and even hyperechoic portions all within the same mass. Question seven, the term echogenicity is a synonym for blank in ultrasound imaging. A, hypoechoic, B, echogenicity, C, hyperechoic, or D, anechoic. And the answer is C, hyperechoic. The term echogenic in ultrasound imaging means that the area has more echoes 
or brighter echoes than the surrounding fat. Areas that are light gray or white on ultrasound are known as hyperechoic, making these two terms synonymous with each other. Question eight, on ultrasound, an area that appears black, indicating that there is no reflection from the tissue, an absence of reflected echoes, is known as A, anechoic, B, isoechoic, C, hypoechoic, or D, hyperechoic. And the answer is A, anechoic. Anechoic structures on ultrasound are black, indicating fluid inside, such as cysts, blood vessels, or milk ducts. Within anechoic areas, there is an absence of reflected echoes, meaning that no reflections are returning to the ultrasound transducer from within that area. Question nine, what is the echogenicity of the mass on the breast ultrasound image below. A. Hypoechoic, B. Isoechoic, C. Anechoic, or D. Hyperechoic. And the answer is A. Hypoechoic. On the ultrasound image, we are looking at the dark gray mass. Areas that are dark gray on ultrasound are known as hypoechoic, and they indicate that the area is a weak reflector, meaning that there are few echoes returning back to the transducer. In breast ultrasound, the more hypoechoic a mass is, as a general rule, the more suspicious it is. Question 10. On ultrasound, an area that appears white or light gray, indicating it is a strong reflector, resulting in many echoes being returned to the transducer is known as A. Anechoic, B. Isoechoic, C. Hypoechoic, or D. Hyperechoic. And the answer is D, hyperechoic. Hyperechoic areas are light gray or white on ultrasound. On a breast ultrasound, hyperechoic masses tend to be benign. Although there are exceptions to every rule, I have seen a couple of breast cancers that had hyperechoic areas within them. They were hyperechoic and hypoechoic and very hazy with irregular margins. Hyperechoic areas are strong reflectors, resulting in many echoes being returned to the transducer. Question 11. On ultrasound, an area that appears dark gray, which indicates that it is a weak reflector, resulting in few echoes being returned from the tissue, is known as A. Anechoic, B. Hypoechoic, C. Hyperechoic, or D. Isoechoic. And the answer is B, hypoechoic. Hypoechoic areas on an ultrasound are dark gray and they have fewer echoes or a darker brightness level than the medium gray color of the fat in the breast. Question 12, what is the echogenicity of the mass on the breast ultrasound image below? A, hypoechoic, B, anechoic, C, hyperechoic, or D, isoechoic? And the answer is B, anechoic. Anechoic structures on ultrasound are black inside. In this particular image, we're looking at a cyst. It's nice and black inside, indicating a simple cyst. Question 13. An area that has both solid and cystic components and or displays multiple types of echoes is known as A, isoechoic, B, hypoechoic, C, complex, or D, echogenic. And the answer is C, complex. Complex area on ultrasound indicates that the area has both solid and cystic components and multiple echogenicities or levels of brightness are present within the mass. It may have anechoic areas, hypoechoic areas, and various other echogenicities within the mass. This is known as complex. Question 14. On ultrasound, an area that has evenly distributed echoes is known as A. Heterogeneous. Genius, B. Echogenicity, C. Echo texture, or D. Homogenous. 
And the answer is D, homogeneous. On ultrasound, the echo texture of an area or the pattern of the echoes is determined by looking for how evenly distributed the echoes within the mass are. A mass that has echogenicities that are all the same color inside, also known as evenly distributed echoes, is called homogeneous. A homogeneous echo texture is a benign feature when characterizing a breast mass. Question 15. What is the echo texture of the mass on the breast ultrasound image below? A. Homogeneous B. Anechoic C. Heterogeneous or D. Hypoechoic And the answer is C. Heterogeneous. The echo texture of a mass is determined by looking at the pattern of the brightness levels in the mass. If there's an uneven distribution of echoes within the mass, the mass is known as heterogeneous. This particular mass has both solid and cystic components, so it would be known as a complex echogenicity. And since there's multiple echogenicities present within this mass, both anechoic and hypoechoic spaces within this mass, it has an uneven pattern or distribution of echoes, which is known as heterogeneous. Question 16. The blank of an area on a breast ultrasound is determined by evaluating the uniformity of the reflected echoes within an area. A. Echo texture. B. Homogeneous. C. Heterogeneous. Or D. Echogenicity. And the answer is A. Echo texture. The echo texture of a mass on ultrasound is determined by looking at the uniformity of the reflected echoes within an area. If all the echoes have the same brightness level, it's known as homogeneous. If the mass has varying levels of brightness or reflected echoes within the mass, it's known as heterogeneous. Uniform echoes or homogeneous is a benign finding in ultrasound while uneven patterns of echoes, known as heterogeneous, is a more worrisome sign in breast ultrasound. Question 17. On ultrasound, an area with an uneven pattern of echoes is known as A. Echo texture B. Homogeneous C. Heterogeneous or D. Echogenicity And the answer is C. Heterogeneous. Heterogeneous on an ultrasound means that the mass has multiple echogenicities present within the mass, and there's an uneven pattern of brightness of echoes. Looking at the pattern of echoes within a mass is known as echo texture. Question 18. What is the echogenicity of the mass on the breast ultrasound image below, represented by the yellow arrow? A. Hyperechoic. B. Hypoechoic. C anechoic or D isoechoic and the answer is D isoechoic isoechoic masses on ultrasound are a medium gray color they're the hardest masses to find on a breast ultrasound because they really blend in with the echogenicity of the surrounding fat as you can see on this ultrasound image, it's very hard to make out the mass on the ultrasound because it has the same echogenicity as the surrounding fat. Isoechoic masses on ultrasound tend to be benign. Question 19. When all the echoes are the same color and brightness within a mass on an ultrasound, the mass is known as A. Heterogeneous B. Complex C. Homogeneous or D. Isoechoic and the answer is C. Homogeneous. A mass has a homogeneous echo texture when all the echoes inside the mass have relatively the same color and brightness levels. This is almost a trick question because you'd think that D. Isoechoic would also apply. However, isoechoic means that the mass is a medium gray color inside and has the same echogenicity or brightness level as the surrounding fat. While a mass could be hypoechoic, 
exhibit or hyperechoic echogenicity and still be homogeneous or have the same brightness levels within the mass inside. Question 20. The ultrasound mass below is A. Complex B. Heterogeneous C. Solid and cystic or D. All of the above. And the answer is D, all of the above. This mass has both solid and cystic components to it. It has an uneven level of brightness throughout the mass with different echogenicities, making it also complex and heterogeneous inside. Question 21. The pattern of the reflected echoes on an ultrasound is known as A, echotexture, B, heterogeneous, C, echogenicity, or D, homogenous. And the answer is A, echo texture. Echo texture compares the pattern of brightness levels within a mass. A mass with even brightness levels within is known as homogeneous. A mass with an uneven pattern of brightness levels inside the mass is known as heterogeneous. Question 22. The brightness of reflected echoes based on the number of reflected echoes on an ultrasound is known as A, hyperechoic, B, echo texture, C, echogenicity, or D, echogenic. And the answer is C, echogenicity. The echogenicity of a mass looks at the brightness of the reflected echoes within the mass. Different echogenicities on ultrasound include hyperechoic, hypoechoic, isoechoic, anechoic, and complex. Question 23. What is the echo texture of the mass on the breast ultrasound image below? A. Homogeneous, B. Hypoechoic, C. Heterogeneous, or D. Complex? And the answer is A. Homogeneous. This mass has an even pattern of brightness levels within the mass, giving it an even or homogeneous echo texture. If you look at the echogenicity or the brightness level of this mass, it is hypoechoic. Question 24. When a mass has fewer echoes than the surrounding fat, the mass is known as A. Hyperechoic, B. Anechoic, C. Echogenic, or D. Hypoechoic. And the answer is D, hypoechoic. Hypoechoic masses are dark gray in color and they are weak reflectors, meaning that they have fewer echoes inside than the medium gray color of the surrounding fat. Question 25. The blank and the blank of echoes gives information about the characteristics of the tissues or structures encountered within the body. A, pattern and echo texture. B, brightness and echo Echogenicity, C, echo texture and heterogenicity, or D, brightness and pattern. And the answer is D, brightness and pattern. The pattern and the brightness of echoes gives us information about the characteristics of the tissues or structures that the sound wave encountered within the body. When the echoes or reflections return to the transducer, we can use information about the pattern and the brightness to determine the features of the tissue type that the echoes returned from. Interested in more registry review practice question videos? Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and stay tuned on Wednesdays for more videos.